So one of the things I noticed from the game um, <clears throat> was to do with Celtic's build-up and I think on Celtic TV they commented that they thought it was a, a three at the back and I actually think it was a four and I think the confusion came from one of the rotations that Celtic tried quite a lot. So the ball would usually work out to Welsh, to Ralston and, and back in, sometimes going into Sorrow and, and going back again. While that was happening on the left-hand side, <clears throat> McInroy would look to push a little bit higher up and go into a space and it was hard to see on the camera but I'm going to guess he pushed upwards here left that space for Sean Henderson here and Montgomery would come into the middle of the pitch and this is not an uncommon thing to do when you're trying to build up and if, if the team you're playing against have got two midfielders that are pressing you quite aggressively in the middle to get your midfield players on but usually what would happen is instead of pushing high your midfielder would drop into this little pocket the ball would hopefully work across and then they would get out the other side and you'd have a, an attack but McInroy was pushing up more centrally and a few times at the beginning of the game there was this kind of big void on the left-hand side that Celtic were caught out on. But as the game progressed, they were able to get players into there like Henderson. Um, a few times McInroy actually did drop into that space and it gave Celtic a little opportunity to build out. So it was quite an interesting rotation. They probably overdone it at the beginning of the game and, and made it quite obvious. But if you watch throughout the game, you'll actually see them progressing it and actually getting a lot of success. What also does as well is if the ball is worked, say, on the right-hand side to Welsh, and McInroy just drifts into this space in here. Moffat can, can easily occupy there. Ajeti in there. Shaw, um, Henderson in that space. It actually gives him a nice little overload in there to go and play on the front foot and attack. So I think that was the reasoning behind it. Um, I think it's one to definitely watch going forward because the fluidity they had in the midfield was really exciting. And actually a few times, even though it never really came from anything, Montgomery, even when the ball got progressed out, Montgomery was in this position here and a few times he just carried on his run and just created havoc and caused problems going forward. And they never quite utilised it, but it's certainly an interesting tactical little innovation they brought in already and it'll be interesting to see when the international players are back in if that's something they're going to continue with. Another thing that happened when the Celtic were able to move the ball effectively and, and get in control was Sorrow would drop in between uh, Welsh and Murray and be like a third centre half. Now this is really interesting and actually gives Celtic a lot more opportunity uh, to progress the ball. If that happens, it's important, uh, McInroy or the centre midfielder is in there. Sometimes actually as well, Montgomery was still in from that previous attack and again, he's in that position there, which then allows the front three who I think were, were very fluid in their movements, they, they switched a lot, Shaw dropped off into the left hand side a lot, I think Henderson started right. Um, and then Moffat obviously went out there towards the the early parts of the game. Um, and it just allows when you're building out um, and you've got that, that in the, those players in those positions that if you move the ball to the left-hand side, you can go direct into your, your winger if you're doing that and hopefully maybe isolate um, 1v1. Because you've got a front three and guys who are playing between the defensive line and the midfield line, again, it's an easy place to create overloads. You know, if Aleti comes on to this position here to the centre-half, You've got players in these positions in these little spaces between defenders, which makes life very difficult. And again, if these guys position themselves well enough in the middle, it can keep a midfield three together, um, which it can do. It's probably something Celtic fans have seen before, with Scott Brown maybe dropping in that position. But again, I like the way they moved the ball in there and how they mixed up who was in the middle. Sometimes it was just one and the, and the left backs and the full backs sorry, stayed high and gave those front three players a chance just to drop in and sometimes come across together. Um, quite a lot of the times Henderson and um, Shaw came across and created a big overload on one side, which was quite interesting to see as well.